Greetings, my friends, in the love and light of our infinite creator. I am Hayton, and, as always, it is a great privilege to address this group. I greet each of you and especially those who are new to our group and extend to you our love and our thoughts and our gratitude for the chance to be with you. We of the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator are about your planet in numerous crafts and we come from many, many different places within your universe. And yet we are here for one purpose and one purpose only. We are here, my friends, as a single voice of love. Love, my friends, is the word which created all that there is. What vibration is to the physical world, love is to the consciousness that created the physical world. Love is all that there is, and all that you see about you, day by day, are manifestations of love. My friends, it may seem to you often that you are not looking at the manifestations of love when you look at your relationship with someone with whom you are having difficulty, when your nation looks at other nations with whom it is having difficulty. And yet, we offer to you the precise analogy of vibration in your physical world. It is well known to your scientists that all things are made up of vibration and energy centers. Yet to you, the manifestations of vibration seem many and varied, tables and buildings and trees and human bodies. Yet all of these, my friends, are one thing, energy in motion. And so it is with love. Each feeling, whether it be emotional, mental, or spiritual, each thought that you have is a feeling or thought that was originally purely of love. Yet man, as well as the creator, is a creator and man has invented many complexities which take love and cause it to form many and various shapes. In your holy works, it has been written that the way to defeat evil is to meet it with love. This is true, my friends, because the original vibration of love is always stronger than its derivative, man-made forms. To realize that all that you see is love, is to find peace. No longer need you feel anger and distress, resentment and irritation. These are derivatives of love which can be replaced in your thinking by a consciousness of the basic true love, the all-loving, all-serving, all creative emotion that surrounds and inspires each of you. And how can you find this fountainhead of love, my friends? As always, we recommend meditation. For clever as man's minds are, they are often too clever and in their cleverness men have devised many strange contortions of love. And in meditation, my friends, as you lay down these man-made concepts and open yourselves to your deeper identity, the basic reality of the love that created you can make contact with you in your conscious mind. And as you come in contact with love as it really is, you gain strength to be able to look the world of man-made emotions in the face and say, Ah, but I know a deeper and truer way to express love. If you touch base with this creative love on a regular basis, little by little your being will begin to transmit that love and you will become what you seek to become, an instrument for the love of the Creator. You are in the world, as it has been said, but you are not of the world. You are a divine being, dwelling within the body of the so-called human. And this human will have a very short life and yet the divine being that is your true higher self will exist eternally. Seek to unify your consciousness as a human with your higher identity as a portion of the divinity of the creator through meditation. It has been an extremely great honor to share with you in your meditation, my friends. I leave you now. I am Hayden. I leave you in the love and light of our infinite creator. Adonai Vasu Baragas.